out with the farmhouse and guess what the newest design architecture is going to be from here onward. You're never gonna believe this, follow me. And since so many of you ask, I'm gonna link my entire outfit head to toe in the description section. These are all items that are readily available and these are the exact items that we're going to be linking. My top is Petal and Pup. My pants are wide leg mango pants, which I absolutely love. And my shoes are called Gaia. Well, here we are and a brand new architecture is now going to be trending, not only trending for a year or two, we're talking the next decade. What is happening with the style of homes? Are we over farmhouse? Are we tired of contemporary? Well, yes, we might be because now it's time for the new colonial. I had dinner with the editor-in-chief of House Beautiful magazine and she confirmed this. In fact, she's the one who told me about new colonial. And I thought to myself, new colonial, really? And it's true, it's absolutely true. I am hearing the rumblings, I am seeing the architectural plans, and New Colonial is very interesting. Let's get into it. American colonial style, as you see in these photos, was really something that was brought to the United States in the 16 and 1700s and became quite a phenomenon. And for many decades after that, and many hundreds of years after that, you have seen New Colonial in different parts of the United States. Now, however, there is going to be a New Colonial that is coming to all of our neighborhoods and this is going to be chef's kiss. What is New Colonial? Well, it has some of the traditional elements that you are aware of that you've seen throughout the years. The siding is Borton Batten and the roof is a gabled roof. These homes are traditional in nature. They have shutters, some of them, and they have a very colonial feel, and most of them are painted white. Having a lot of foliage, having ivy grow on the home is also a big part of it. And having this very fresh white and green look, which we've seen a little bit of in the last decade or so, is certainly going to be repeated in the next decade. Chimneys are typically in the center of the home, and it's very possible to have more than one or two, especially in the new colonial, as technology allows us to have multiple fireplaces and the homes are very symmetrical. As an interior designer, New Colonial speaks to us because of the fact that you've got symmetry and symmetry is very important in interior design. You will also see quite a bit of brick and you will also see new colonial homes that are built in brick that are not painted. So that beautiful brick color with iron windows, imagine modern iron windows, brick fronting, and look at this photo, you're gonna die. This is what I love. In fact, if I had to build a new house for myself, this is what it would look like. You can also have a homogenous new colonial home, which will be painted all in the same color, the window trims, the siding, everything is in one color, which makes it much more modern with the exception of perhaps the front door surround and voila you've got this new colonial that's going to be emerging in your neighborhood having a brick pathway to the home is also going to be prevalent in this new colonial decade because people were really tired of brick for many years and now as you guys know fashion comes in fashion goes out it's the same concept you know skinny jeans were in for a decade now you cannot be caught dead in skinny jeans it's the same thing brick was out 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 and now brick is back in and i quite enjoy and like brick because of the fact that it brings the earthy tones and earthy colors into the new scheme of this home. Brick is a very good material in the sense that it wears well, it does very well in different weathers, and it is really easy to maintain. If you guys have questions regarding your interior design or just wanna ask me what colors to choose for your walls, whatever it may be, I am here with the easy, easy click of a button. In the description section, you can click the Zoom link and you can immediately schedule an appointment for now or in the future where you and I can meet and we can talk about whatever your designer needs may be. So what does this mean for your interiors? We've got the exterior, we get it. There's going to be a lot of traditional elements, but the interior is where you are going to see the main difference of these homes. We are going to have quite a bit of molding. Yay, my favorite. We're going to have quite a bit of columns, but done tastefully. This isn't gonna be some ostentatious, 
uh, over the top design. There's going to be a lot of comfort that is brought into this space, but it's going to be done very artfully. Wood floors are going to be, again, prevalent in the next decade, and the color of the floors is going to be as it is at this moment, which is a natural color. We are going back to the basics. We pushed the envelope for quite a bit with the farmhouse. We pushed the envelope with the contemporary homes, but everybody's craving true classic architecture. Why? Because they want a home that they're gonna build and live in for the rest of their lives, most of us, and if we can. So why create something that's only going to be in style for such a short period of time? And I have always mentioned to you guys, and I have always discussed the fact that you really want to stay classical in your architecture and you don't want to be following the trends because if you do, you will be chasing them year after year. So the rule is 70-30. 70% 70 70 of your home needs to be classical in architecture. Your furniture needs to be 70% classic. And if you want to bring in an element of fun or an element of trend, do so, but it cannot surpass your 30%. Take a look at this dining room in this colonial home. I love the space. We're finally bringing color back. But remember, color is going to come back in dark shades that are reminiscent of earth tones. So we're not gonna have very cold colors. We're gonna have warm colors that are going to continue in 2024 and beyond. And we are going to have very interesting lighting. We are going to have a lot of paneling and molding. And I'm gonna get into that. Classic elements are going to be mixed in with old world elements. That is going to be tricky for people to do if they don't have a good design eye. So as much as colonial is something that we're familiar with, well, how do we update it so it doesn't feel like, you know, we stepped into the 1600s, but we really stepped into something that is new and fresh? Well, look at this freestanding sink. This is a very old sink. Obviously it's a new, but it's an old design with the brass legs, which is nice. And I believe these are patinaed legs. And what makes it fresh and what makes it different is the juxtaposition of this new fresh wallpaper. We know that wallpaper is fresh and new. It just feels, it does not feel dated, it's warm, it's inviting, and you have a lot of fun elements in the room. You've got the splash of the, you know, arrangement in the corner, bringing in floral arrangements that are very modern and artsy is really going to be able to have you create the space that feels new and fresh. Creating mud rooms in the entrance of the home is going to be a big thing for colonial homes because they are actually quite utilitarian. And in the colonial days, well, you know, stagecoach and all, those rooms were very much used. And they will be brought into this type of new colonial as well. But what I do love about it is that there's going to be a lot of use of wallpaper and landscape wallpaper beautiful, non-repetitive wallpaper. So basically mural wallpapers are going to be the thing. For example, look at this office. Do I love it? I love it. I love it because I love the landscape mural wallpaper. Chair rails are going to be very big. I love them because I love, I love putting them, but I love putting them at the correct height. I might have to do an entire YouTube on moldings and chair rails and crown moldings because I find that this is one of the most asked questions from not only my clients, but from you guys through DM and through expert sessions that you're booking with me. So I am gonna do it. Let me know if that's something you're interested in so we can talk about the height because everyone gets it wrong. We gotta do it right. Let me know, sound off below. However, getting back to chair rails, what are chair rails? My videographer just asked me, what is that? Well, as it sounds, it's a chair rail. Back in the day, these were placed around the dining room primarily where your chairs could hit the wall. And in order to protect the wall, they created this molding that protruded outside of the wall and went halfway to the floor. That is called a chair rail and the chair rail protects your chairs from hitting a wall. So, but of course it's now turned into a phenomenon and people are putting it all over their homes and I love it and I think it looks great and I can't say enough about it. So let's be clear. Out are the old churn spindles and the dark, heavy vibe of the, shall we say, the American colonial, and in is the contemporary colonial. The contemporary colonial is going to be stretched right and left, and I hope people do it correctly. I'm a little worried about what might happen with the new colonial, but uh, if they've got uh, great taste and hopefully they understand the boundaries things will turn out okay. Out are the old, very carved, dated, heavy staircases and stair rails and spindles. And in is what you see in this photo. Clean lines, 
minimalness, but with a very deep sense of tradition. These homes are not modern by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, from the outside, you might even confuse them for the American colonial homes of the 1600s. It's when you step inside that you really get the impact. If you look at the kitchen, they are state of the art, they're beautiful. Cabinets are now traditional. We're not going to have too many modern lacquered cabinets. Things are gonna have a lot more roundedness to them. They're gonna have some molding on them. The bathrooms are gonna be clean and beautiful. They're gonna have round edges as you see in these bathrooms. They are gonna have a lot of great modern touches that are gonna make you want to build yourself one immediately. Make sure and click on that subscribe button, guys. I love you. I can't thank you enough for being such wonderful, kind, and loving followers. You guys are the kindest on YouTube. I don't know how I got so lucky. I can't wait to see you again next week on this channel, The Red Elevator.